proclaim the salvation of God through thy name. Tell among the nations his glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. Now, mighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God, God in the highest, and on earth peace to the people of the world. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, the Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. And glory to God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Strengthen in us, O Lord, the faith by which the blessed Apostle Bartholomew clung cohortly to your Son, and grant that through the help of his prayers your church may become for all the nations the sacrament of salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. The angel spoke to me saying, Come here. I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. He took me in spirit to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God. It gleamed with splendor of God. Its radiance was like that of a precious stone, like jasper, clear as crystal. It had a massive high wall with 12 gates where 12 angels were stationed and on which names were inscribed, the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. There were three gates facing east three north, three south, and three west. The wall of the city had 12 courses of stones as its foundation, on which were inscribed the 12 names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial psalm. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Let all your works give thanks to give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendors of your kingdom. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Rabbi, you are the Son of God, and you are the King of Israel. Alleluia, alleluia.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law, and also the prophets, Jesus, son of Joseph from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you. You will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today the church remembers Saint Bartholomew, also known as Nathaniel. They're the same person by tradition. What happened you think for Nathaniel and the other apostles and the disciples who hid after the death of Jesus they hid away in the upper room <coughs> hoping not to be discovered what would happen that would cause Nathaniel, Bartholomew, and the rest to go out and to go and endure the sufferings that they would experience to proclaim Jesus, the crucified, is now risen. And in Bartholomew's case, Nathaniel's case, to be willing to go and proclaim it even by doing so, it meant that he would be inevitably, as tradition teaches us, flayed alive. What happened? It had to be more than just some type of philosophy that was reiterated. It had to be more than some type of motivational talk. For a person to go from hiding in a room to then wanting to go out, even if it meant death in an extremely horrifying way, something had to happen. And then we ask ourselves, is that something which happened to Bartholomew, is that still something that can happen today? And we see that there are Christians, Catholics, and other parts of the world who are experiencing uh, <coughs> abuse just to go to church in different parts of the world currently, even in our day. Yes, yes. The same Holy Spirit that motivated Bartholomew and Daniel's heart to be able to do that is still active in the church of God today, motivating the hearts of others to stand courageously for the faith of Jesus Christ. His name we profess. We pray that although we who are burdened with a different cross than they, whereas their persecution comes from without, our persecution comes from within. Not from within by a person, but from in here by our own, sadly, our own laziness and apathy. Because it's so easy to be a, a Catholic here, a Christian here in the West. Nobody's out there trying to persecute us or locking the doors of the church on us, etc. And that's why so many people 
and take or leave going to church on Sunday. That same Holy Spirit that motivated in the beginning is still present today. <coughs> we need to pray, Lord, send that same Holy Spirit upon me. Not just Father, but upon each one of us. Send it upon me so that the chains which bind me, apathy, laziness, all these other things, I can be free to them. And I can join Nathaniel and so many others in my <coughs> rightful place in heaven, <coughs> seated upon a throne. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Coming together as one family in faith, we offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day and those who care for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for those who are sick or suffering. We remember Christine Bosorge today. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise. Asking for Mary's intercession as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice you as we celebrate anew the feast day of St. Bartholomew, O Lord, we pray that we may obtain your help through the intercession of the Apostle, in whose honor we bring you this sacrifice of praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds, to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the default, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we describe and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord until he is on the Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that after partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and give us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I have not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be
Let us pray. As we celebrate the feast day of the blessed apostle Bartholomew, we have received the pledge of eternal salvation, O Lord, and we pray that it may be of help to us both now and for life to come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And mighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is in it to go in peace. Amen. Prayer to St. Michael. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him when he humbly pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the enemies of spirits, who wander through the world, sick in the room of souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament, the author. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, the most spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and his saints.